Hello friends, this is Lindsay for So Foxy. Welcome back to another project video tutorial. In today's video, we are sharing with you how to press HTV onto oven mitts. So these make super cute grips and they're really fast to, to whip up and they're not hard to make, but there are a few things that you do want to keep in mind to make the project successful. So we're going to share with you the <laughs> tips and tricks to pressing HTV onto oven mitts. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So one of the biggest things that you do want to just pay extra care and attention to when pressing HTV onto oven mitts is that um, if they're quilted, which um, a lot of them are, then because of that difference in the material's thickness because of the quilting, you'll just want to make sure that you do pay extra attention um, during pressing so that you can get the HTV to um, stick evenly on the surface. And then another thing to note is um, how large and where you place the design. Um, if this is an oven mitt that is intended to be used. Um, if it's just a purely decorative oven mitt, then you can make the design as big as you want and place it anywhere you want on the, on the mitt. But for um, a person that's right-handed, um, you would want to place the design um, on the reverse side of where they would be holding the pan. Um, and probably about three inches tall is um, a good a good size, um, probably um, even a little bit on the larger size. That way the HTV is just um, the least likely to touch that hot pan. So, um, you know, you can always adjust this if the intended recipient is left-handed or again, if this is just purely decorative, um, but um, you will want to make sure that um, if this is an oven mitt that is gonna be used, that the HTV um, does not come into contact with a hot pan because um, you can melt the HTV. But then just go ahead and cut out that um, heat transfer vinyl with your cutting machine. Um, again, we um, cut this design at about three inches tall um, with uh, three different colors of HTV. But if you want to just stick with one color, then that's totally fine too. You will just want to make sure that um, if you need to mirror the design, um, which a lot of HTV needs to be mirrored, that you do that in your design software um, so that it cuts in reverse. And then you can go ahead and weed out all the excess HTV from around the design. And you might find that um, it's easier to just leave the cut HTV on your machine's cutting mat and uh, weed it out that way. Uh, the sticky mat holds the HTV down while you lift all that excess up and away. And then while you're pressing, you can use either um, an iron to press the HTV or we're going to be using a heat press. Uh, if you can place a folded towel or a pressing pillow um, underneath or inside the oven mitt um, while you're pressing, then um, that pressing pillow or folded towel or cloth is going to help to give you more even pressure um, while you're pressing, which is really important for those quilted oven mitts. So then go ahead and uh, place your HTV design, uh, cover with a piece of parchment paper, and then for Caesar Easy Weed, when uh, you're using a heat press, you're going to press it um, at 305 degrees Fahrenheit um, for 10 to 15 seconds. Now we are using three colors, so we'll place the first color, press for a couple seconds, remove the carrier sheet, place the second color, press that for a couple of seconds, Place the third color of HTV, press for a couple seconds, remove the carrier sheet, and then um, press the entire design um, for about 10 seconds at the very end. So then when you're done pressing, just take a look at the HTV, make sure that you have pressed it into those nooks and crannies of the quilting. Um, if you did um, see any areas that um, you missed, you can go back over them. If you had um, issues pressing with the heat press, then maybe try the iron so you can um, get that HTV to um, successfully stick into all the areas on the quilted oven mitt. These personalized oven mitts are just so fast and easy to make and they're super cute with a cute little baking design like these, um, which come from the Bundle of Bundles 6.0 that you can find at So Fancy. So there's a link in the video description. Um, so click on that to check it, check it out. 
Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.